Jordan Pickford played last night for England as they beat Greece 3 0 away. He turned in an excellent performance, a man of the match performance, making some crucial saves as he won his 72nd cap for England. If Pickford plays against Ireland on Sunday, it'll be his 73rd cap and he will equal that the amount that Gordon Banks got in that then would put him two behind Joe Hart and David Seaman on 75. But a really good performance. He actually got some praise from pundits, which is uh, unheard of, really. They normally are ready to jump on anything he does, but it was a really good performance, and that'll give him loads of confidence, which is good for us in the long run, of course. So, uh, well done, Jordan. Illaman and Jai and the Drishagana Gay played as Senegal beat Burkina Faso 1-0. Uh, elsewhere, Oral Mangala was an unused substitute as Belgium were beaten 1-0 at home by Italy. And Jake O'Brien was an unused substitute as Ireland beat Finland 1-0. Uh, elsewhere, Mason Holgate, who, yes, he's still an Everton player, was uh, sent off for Jamaica as they were beaten 1-0 by the United States. Holgate sent off for two yellow cards. Bet you no one saw that coming. Uh, and a game that saw former Everton winger Damari Gray miss a penalty. Beto, once again, has been linked with a move away from Everton today. Uh, once This time it's Roma, rather, who were uh, very interested in taking him, apparently, in January on loan. Beto yet to start a Premier League game for the Toffees this season. His, uh, one report says he's desperate to get back to Italy. He wants to return. Don't know whether there's anything in that, but that's what they're saying. And elsewhere, in you know, regarding Beto, the maddest story I think I've seen, and that is that Juventus want to take him on loan in January. That bit isn't mad. That bit isn't mad. He's been linked with Juventus before. The mad bit is Juventus want to give us Douglas Luis for the rest of the season in the swap for Beto, the former Aston Villa midfielder who is a top player who Everton would love to have, I'm quite sure, in the middle of midfield. Um, I'm not sure whether that's there's anything real in that one, but I just thought it was a bit of a bizarre story. doesn't say yet whether Alicia Lehman will come on loan with him as well and play for Everton women. Who knows? Who knows? They did, of course, both move to Juventus in the summer. And finally, Everton and Besiktas are apparently leading the race for Milan winger Samuel Chukwizi. The 25-year-old has made 11 appearances for Milan this season and scored one goal. Everton have been linked with Chukwizi on a number of occasions already. The Recruitment team wants a fast winger. It's your easy fits that bill. And um, Everton, yeah, credited once again with being in the race for him. That is it for the News Daily. Have a great weekend. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll see you later.